الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد أحب في الله شيطان will never stop to pursue son of Adam he will pursue him until he knows that he is going to fill the hellfire with him today I'm bringing for you inshallah a story of a Yemeni man who repented he was a magician it begins by him saying my father was a top ranking magician in Yemen and he was doing all sorts of magic and one of the days my mom become pregnant and he says to the shayateen who he is worshiping that this child when he comes out i will give it to you and he will be on your service he will be obedient to you and he carries on doing whatever he's doing times pass by the child was born and the time pass by the child sees nothing but apart from what his dad is doing he reaches at the age of 10 the father passed away he goes to age of 11 12 the shatin comes and speaks to the boy the boy name is daud daud we going to make you high more than your father and they disappear at the age of 14 daud was traveling to a small village and he mounted a donkey while he was going he started hitting the donkey so hard one time two time three time the donkey spoke back to him spoke back with the voice of a woman and says daud do not think i'm a donkey do not hit me leave me i'm not a donkey and the old got shocked a surprise and he hit the donkey hard the donkey left quick and the old fell down and he hit he went in a coma and he became mental now as times pass pass by his mom tied the old the leg into the trunk of the tree that's the ruling of the countries where we came from and we live they don't have no mental hospitals and things like that to lock people so he, she tied him and leave him near the tree times pass by daud is mentally ill and he gained back his conscious when he gained back his conscious at the age of i think 2027 the and then the shatin came and visited him and he was told go to so so place and learn he went there stayed for 25 days after 25 days the shatin comes back to him again and says you need to step on the mushaf and for 40 days he's done it and they gave him his ijaza the devilish ijaza while he was doing whatever he's doing now he's a complete magician high rank they gave him the the ijaza he doesn't know anything about magic now to mag- to do magic on this magic on that magic on that magic on that one of the days it was a celebration he was celebrating eid and he was doing tricks while he was doing tricks he was taking knife and hitting his body but the knife does not penetrate his body the shatin put a barrier for him so everybody was in john and comes by there two kids brother and sister and the brother when he sees that he start reading ayatul kursi the shaitan flee there while daud was playing the tricks the knife penetrated his body and he went in the hospital for three years he was suffering while he is in hospital the shaitan came to him and he was asking how did that happen how did i stab myself the shaitan told him the kids the two kid teenagers who came the woman came without no tahara look how they deceived him. but the old recalls by the boy came he was reading something he was mentioning allah's name after some time the old comes out from the hospital and he goes back to normal now he's determined to do magic on the boy he does it 
He sends the first jinn, the jinn comes back. The second, the jinn, everyone he sends comes back. He said, married, married comes back. He said, Ifrit, Ifrit comes back. They all tell him, that boy is different. You can't do anything to him. This is the thing, Akhwani. You hold tight to your salah and your adhkars and you remember Allah frequently. No magic or shaitan can do anything to you. So he's surprised. What is happening? Why? This boy, I cannot do anything to him. He goes to villages where his landlord lives and he was there planning and plotting again to harm this boy. He narrates, he says, all his food, whatever he eats, is filth. Because he sees all the devil what they eat. They come and chit-chat with him and sit with him. They eat cocos food, very filthy, dirty, stinking food. He eats with them. They drink blood, dirty blood. He drinks with them. This is the food he eats. Dawood narrates. Now he reaches the villages. When he reaches the villages, he goes to the landlord and greet him. And he tells him, I'm very tired today. Can you just give me somewhere to sleep and rest? He says, no problem, Dawood. Go to that room and rest. He goes there and have a nap. While he's having a nap, he had a dream that he's dead and people are cleaning him and putting him in the coffin. He's talking to these people, but the people don't care. He's shouting and yelling, I'm not dead. The people put him in the coffin and took him to the grave. And they're saying, don't worry, just bury him. It doesn't matter if he's alive or not. And he got buried. While he got buried right dark in the grave, he sees somebody coming to him. When the person comes to him and asks him, who are you? Where's your Lord? He said, I don't know if there's any Lord. I only know how to read Kitabul uh, Mandal, Shamsul Ma'arif. I only know this. I don't know if there's any Lord. And then he asks, do you pray? He says, no, I never prayed. And how can I pray? And the guy, the person he met in the grave told him to pray. He said, I don't have wudu. How can I pray? And he says, there's a water here. They brought water. And they told him to make wudu. He said, by Allah, that water came there. It was a very hot water that if you see a bird passing by, it will fall. And when he saw that water is very hot, he wanted to run away. The angels, whoever was there with him, grab him and pull him back there. And he woke up screaming. What? What? The whole house woke up while he's sweating. And everybody came to him. And the landlord told him, what happened, Dawood? Dawood does not speak and he's sweating. The landlord tell everybody, go, 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 leave him, let him. Have a rest. He goes back again to sleep. And he was hit with another dream. He dreamt that he was on top of the mountain. And he saw his father making Uru with the same water. And his father telling him, Dawood, it's not too late. My life, I'm ruined. I've lost it. Me is done for me. But for you, it's not too late. Go back to your Lord and worship your Lord, Dawood. Go back to your Lord and he wakes up. Fear on the bed. Now he, he says his body, he can only feel the bones, but the flesh, he cannot feel anything. So heavy that he cannot wake up. And he calls upon Allah the first time he calls upon Allah. And Allah gave him the tawfiq. He lifts up from there. He asks the landlord, can he give him clean cloth? I need a clean cloth. I need to borrow clean cloth from him. And the landlord gives him. And he does all the purification. He showers and comes out from the shower. And he stands for salah. While he's standing for salah, he's bleeding. He plays a salah on the sujood. He sees a woman, jinn woman, comes naked on the sujood. And he calls upon Allah. Allah removes her straight away. While he's praying, he says he's seen so many jinn women there, naked and doing all the facade. Ugly jinnis. Ugly, very ugly jinn woman. 
he goes to the second rakah and he prays and he finishes two rakah and he finishes the salah and while he sees jinni men and women come in more doing all the filthy zina everything there just to tempt him to go back to his old ways and avan calls they disappeared boy all of them when the adhan finishes he goes out and tells the landlord let's go to salah it was on day of juma and the, uh, the landlord was surprised and he said ah daud you've come back alhamdulillah you've come back let's go he goes with him all the way to the masjid he enters the masjid on that day the masjid the khutbah is about magician he says i was shocked like allah is talking to me and the imam give khutbah and khutbah khutbah and finish and say how evil are the magician how magician are doing evil stuff to the people when he finish the khutbah he goes to the imam and he narrates this is was mummy i was doing this before alhamdulillah i repented he says like you were talking to me allah sent me here to you to talk to me and explain to me everything alhamdulillah now i'm okay I've repented and the imam told him qul lan nusibana illa ma kataba allah lana huwa maulana wa ala allah falyatawakkalim whatever befalls us is allah has already decreed now he goes back home he sees his wife narrate to his wife everything and he says now I've repented and we got two choice me to go back to my old ways and we keep all the wealth we had the house and everything or I stay steady fast and lose everything the woman told him his wife stay steady fast forget about everything allah is going to give us more than this what we have alhamdulillah he said i didn't know that she had an iman more than me she was living with me with patience now from there the revenge tactic started from the shaitan to lure back daud to the magic they went for his son kill him his, his son his eyes they popped out he started bleeding bleeding until he de- died and the second one they went for his brother he had only one brother and they killed him he bled to death he says the only death i could not take more was for my brother between my son and my brother because i don't had only one brother i knew that allah will give me kids from my heart but my brother now the son and the brother dead he's worried what next suddenly his wife was pregnant at the same time she started bleeding and bleeding and bleeding and suddenly he took her to the hospital and get checked everything he says nothing is wrong with her she's just bleeding nothing and he was wondering what to do and he go a call from a brother and he say go to son so muallij so raqi will help you they took her there and he start reading 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 the jinn spoke and says we will never leave until daud goes back to his old ways daud say no chance but what happens to daud regularly is that he faints and he stays faint for month and comes back he faints and stay faint for month comes back just for him to go back to his old ways the shaitan are trying so hard and that's the way of the shaitan but once the individual is steadfast nothing will happen so the raqi finish and the who takes his wife and they go after the pregnant they kill the child in the belly allah stays in the wood more and they go on after his wife they kill his wife as well now daud left alone he faints and comes back he faints and comes back but alhamdulillah he never went back to his old ways this is the story of daud who repented from magic now i have by allah ikhwani what you need to happen is steadfast and sober needs to have be happening to the individual who are inflicted abundantly shaitan will never win is 2 seconds infliction and it goes back to the 
goes away once you call upon Allah. Insha'Allah, stay tuned for more. Abu Yahya from the Rukha Talk. Wa akhiru da'wana. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Hatta yatabayyana lahum annahu al-haq.